hello, welcome back. We're deciding to do a training episode because our team is booty. We also, you know, got our asses handed to us last time, so... So, what level does, uh, Voltorb evolve at? I think three out of our four, six Pokemon evolve at level 30. So he evolves at level 30? Yes, I'm pretty sure what Voltorb... What's to go? I have absolutely... I, I know Seal is within the 30s as well. I don't have my phone to check, so... Okay, because we're gonna, gonna add that to our team. Our the question is, what are we getting rid of? Our latest evolution will probably be Aaron. <laughs> no, he was level 32. Yeah, but into Aggron it'll be at level 42. Yeah, I know. Um, Gardevoir will be at level 30. Urshan okay, will be at 30. Okay, so who's getting a boot? Basically, our permanent team members as of right now are Beta, uh, Hildegard, and Mumps. And Mumps. I've decided I want to kind of keep Teddy Ursa around for a little while, see how she performs. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's time. Like, I like, I like Cubed. Cubed's actually a really good member, but it's fun. You know what? Recently. You know what? Keep Cubed in the uh, back end. We'll, maybe we'll go back to him. Maybe someday. What we're gonna do is put Cubed in here. So he yeah, can... we may use you again someday, Cubed. We kind of need you around. Put this here. Put this here. <laughs> Look at Spox. What we need to do is purify some Pokemon. We could do that yeah. in this episode too. Probably gonna do that. It's a, the the Pokemon XD banter episode. Correct. So um, we need to talk about some things. Oh, uh, like what? Well, for starters, Mark, your performance level. I think that's something we need to talk about. I think you're dwindling. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so I'm genuinely like distraught that I lost. That badly. <laughs> Mark, I am so disappointed that you lost that battle. You were supposed to... I thought you said you were the Pokemon Master. I am, but not when I'm given <laughs> a, a non-disclosed amount of time to battle things. Usually I don't use a team of six this early. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Um, I've just been fucking around. I was actually about to Naming say... Naming our Pokemon whatever suits my <laughs> mood. <laughs> Uh, soundproof again! <laughs> That's pretty hot, actually. I'll take soundproof. Yeah. Um. <laughs> shit, what was I gonna say? Fade is fast. Um. Oh, yeah, no, I was gonna say, uh. No, I completely forget what I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, no. I'm gonna say, our. Both of our performance is pretty shit. Because, you know, we don't have Ryan here to basically be the backbone of our conversations. Oh, backbone. That's what Georgia is. Correct. Ryan, if you're watching this, I hope you I... know you and Kate are like the backbones of all our conversations. I still think we need to play Pokemon. Uh, well, I mean, I don't have a gun unless you can get some uh, PC recording equipment or programs because I don't know. That's uh, really not that hard. I personally do not have any on all my right. laptop. All right, Beta. Beta would have been a group, a better name for this. It was a guy, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't care. Alright. Mumps, Mumps is our Alpha Chad. Mumps isn't our Alpha Chad. George is our Alpha Chad. <laughs> She's not even... She, okay. George is definitely our Alpha Chad. Sorry. Chad. Chad Tom. You're gonna be named Chad. What? Your, your girl? Did, Did I stutter? <laughs> Alright. So. Shadow Dunsparce. Let's catch it. Uh -huh. This guy's really gonna be one to me. I was about to say, what's... The only thing stopping us from using our Pokeballs against whatever the hell we want is our character's morals. Yeah. Our character's like, no, 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 mom taught me that stealing is bad. Also, our trainer steals other, steals the enemy Pokemon. It's like, no, that's okay, though. Ah. Oh, set, walked in that scented candle around the room. Frosted snowball. What does a coconut snowball even say? I don't know. Wouldn't a coconut snowball just smell like coconut? I dang. I don't think oh, snow I... has a smell. It could. Alright. Le Why are you faster than Beta? You're level 17. You scary face me last turn. That is quite possible. I definitely wouldn't miss that. Definitely. Dead is. Okay, good. Put it Dunsparce was originally that Pokemon I never cared about at all. 
And since Gen 7, I now have two for free-for-alls. I don't really care for it. It's another one of those Gen 2 before. It's, it's, like it's like a ha-ha funny, but it's like, so weak. Who cares? <laughs> you could use a better joke Pokemon. Uh, okay, opinion. Do you think Dunsparce is more notable than Stantler? No, I like Stantler more, because at least it gets intimidate. Going through Gen 2's Pokemon, like, I still stand... Like, I'm, I know we've talked about this before, but Gen 2 is just... It's not bad, but most of the Pokemon just feel underwhelming or don't stand out at all. What should we name our... Our, our seal? Sealine Doodle. But it's a dude. I know it is. That's I don't know. We'll just name it... Um, Doug. What's the least singer in Mario 5? <laughs> Adam Levine. <laughs> Keanu. Keanu. Adam Levine. Adam. Le Adam Levine. Celine Dagon. But it's Avril. It's Adam Levine. Not Avril Levine. All right, let's purify this. Yee. Mary. We got three Pokemon to purify, and we can put three more Pokemon in. Here. Hey, look, Flareon. Hey, oh, it's fuck. Little pissed they sitting there. He is so mad. Cubed is even angrier. Cubed is new to this. Cubed is like, take me out of here, I use self-destruct in this PC system. Mm, they're gonna short circuit this shit. Yo, qu real question, can Pokemon use moves in the PC? No. Well, no. They... What's no, because according to the Pokemon anime, only... Wait. According to the Pokemon anime, Pokemon can't do anything unless uh, they're told to. Well, I'm just sitting here trying to think. Like, I'm trying to uh, think about what the heck goes on in a PC system for Pokemon. It's like, are they, no. are they conscious? Right, I need to put a Pokemon in there. That's why it's being all... I don't like how, like, when you go into the um, hologram version without a Pokemon there, it just seems so empty. It's so weird. Yay! There's a slight rhythm going on in this holographic chamber. Huh. Yee? Alright, more, uh... More things done. I need that meow. That's what I need. I need the Meyer radar to go off. <laughs> Mayor Reap's got, like, the blue line going around. Just like, I... It's like a I friendship... Eat, I <laughs> it's like a friendship line. It's like, looking at itself, I hate that thing. Um, and it Fong. <laughs> Fong. No. I guess I, I just gotta name it Fang, but it's pronounced Fong. I was gonna say put an E in there. Fang. Fang. <laughs> Sorry. Fang. All right, it's gonna rack. You're gonna be a team member. What bug? <laughs> Not really. I excuse me. I, I, I don't know what. There he goes. Is weak. I love its design though. Mm. Remember when we did those Hackmon free-for-alls in um, Gen 7? And I had that Ariados that was super luck and all sorts of crit moves. Yeah, that's fun. I, I did Contrary Tapu Fini because I was sweaty as shit. <laughs> and hey, I also did Huge Power Alakazam with Darkest Larry. Yo. Just for the meme. I remember that. You did that? Yeah, that was... see its animation with the spoons. <laughs> um... Yeah, I had a whale lord that I named Big Bubby, or I named it Buddy or something, and it knew shift gear, dig, and earthquake. I hate that it knew both of those. Really. <laughs> it's also free for all. So all, right, all right, all right, all right. This here. Um. Any of these? Do not do much. Oh, hi. Hiya! <laughs> Fox, you can be alone. Hi! Wouldn't it be better to put the seal there instead? Because water beats fire? No. Because we're purifying the seal in our party because it's a team member. Spiel, I mean. Sorry. Fine! Oh, this isn't done. I 
I gotta get the flow up soon. Yeah, Once we, we start purifying a lot more stuff, I'll get the flow. We'll get a good flow going. I know how to get it perfect. Yeah. I finally mastered it. Finally mastered the purification chamber. Do, do, do. It's actually uh, pretty easy to understand once you get it. Yeah, that's what I want to Well, see. I guess we now we know what we're doing with this ep the last bit of this episode. Uh, let's just hope he's not at Relegum Tower. I don't care if he is. Pirate Tower. Pirate Tower. Okay, that works. E? Well, actually, that won't be bad training. It's like four trainers with level 20s. Yeah, this is going to be a bit longer episode, kids. Let's do it. You know what? Nice. That'll make up for the last episode. Last episode was shorter. Yeah, we're gonna put that extra five minutes into this episode. I'm gonna show you kids how it's done. Now I'm gonna beat on young trainers and catch that damn yow! Wow! Uh, this, uh, this is the last episode, so it counts that I catch the meow because I didn't catch any other shadow Pokemon after the blue time. That's true. Shut up! No, we're not talking about it anymore. This is just how it is. Me debating whether I should bring up the fact that the seal came after. Yeah, <laughs> I'll hit you. I'll will start flicking your your cheeks. <laughs> Mark's getting that perfect run no matter what. Like that. Well, on a technical note, you you know you didn't beat the game before you got the meow. Wouldn't a perfect run just be catching every shadow Pokemon? No, it's catching every shadow Pokemon with that fail, and I failed. Mark hates to admit it. And uh, no, the nose pass does not count. Yeah, I know. Because you kind of have to kill it. Yeah. Alrighty. Rezella. Okay. I'm assuming that's just your last name. <laughs> Her first name is Chaser. Yeah. <laughs> As it turns out, that oh, she got a bear. She got bear Pichu, my boy. They're gonna be like level twenty. I just want you to know. Yeah. Maybe maybe lower. Beta. <laughs> As it turns out, each and every single one of these uh, trainers, their their first names are just like actual trainers. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't use that on seal. Thank you. Thank you. You're such a beta. You. Maybe I'll upgrade her to hand with Alpha Chad someday. Maybe someday. Maybe maybe when she evolves, she can be an Alpha. Nope. Always she good. She has to prove it like my cargo didn't. Meanwhile, Mumps is just going to be like that fire blast spewing piece of our team. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, Mumps is going to be at level 45. It's just ridiculous. Literally. Also, let's just talk about the fact that Mumps is cool. Uh, I do like need some camera up now. Sharpedo's so cool. <laughs> wow! Really? <laughs> Just another Pichu. Hey, okay, well, oh, right. Yo. Oh, oh, Yo. Oh, that's a problem. Does this girl play Melee? Did this girl pick up the joke character like I did? Oh, thank goodness it used to. Oh my goodness, that was the most adorable animation I've ever seen. I want this Pichu. Uh, Kill it with fire. That's not fire, man. <laughs> No, okay, there's a question for you. Have you ever you taken a joke character in any sort of game seriously? Well, I, how I took Pichu seriously in that one. That's not a joke character. Pichu was... That's such a specific question to Pichu, though. I don't know what you want me to say. Well, there are other kinds of joke characters. Like, like It's like... Well, like, think of a Pokemon. What Pokemon would you say is like a joke Pokemon? Like, there's no Pokemon that Pokemon have made that was considered just a joke. Okay. Like Pokemon is all, all Pokemon are supposed to be, like no Pokemon is just like a ha ha next one. Not like, okay, like okay. Let's, broad, like let's broaden the uh, demographic here. Joke. Like, let's extend it to joke weapons in video games. Like if you were like, there's got to be some. There's kind a of... lot of joke weapons, but I don't really play video games with a lot of joke weapons. Like besides like the dildo cannon from like Saints Row. <laughs> it's like ha ha funny next weapon. I don't know. It's not really like my thing. No, like a, joke weapons just It's joking. like a waste of time and development to develop an entire system of a thing that's just supposed to be a joke. That's fair. Like I could jokes are funny if it's like a cutscene or like not like an obtainable thing you have forever, because then it's just like a thing that is in your inventory forever that you don't give a shit about. That's fair. Kinda Unless like it's the, your favorite thing ever, but no, I don't think I'm twelve. Like anymore. the double pain or the turtle curse or the slow go in Thousand Year Door. Yeah, Mark. slow goes and think something else. I mean, I like double paint because that can be used. To that can be actually useful. But slow go is quite literally a useless batch. It's 
like, what are you, what are you gonna use that for? Well, give you a kiss muffin. Mark, that seal's yeah, the only thing I can have a bear. That seal wants your love and affection. I don't care. You can have it when it proves itself. What about Moses? Does Moses get your love and affection? Not always. Excuse me. <laughs> Moses. Trade offer. I give you love and affection. I receive love and affection. Yes. He's upstairs, but then the stage is down. Yes. Alright, seal. We to go. Beta, please, you beta. This is why you're a beta. Well, it's gonna be a while before you, you prove yourself. Fail, beta. That's not gonna do anything. That's gonna kill you. You suck, beta. This is your fault. Still a beta. Still beta. Come on. Come up, my proud woman. She's going, she is going to be a sturdy, uh, a great ball. She's going to be a sturdy, young built woman. young woman who don't need no man. No, oh, she's going to be an independent young woman who don't need no man. Or, man. or anything in between. <laughs> she's going to be a strong, independent woman who don't need no trainer. Yeah. Hildegard so starts just using moves because it can. Ew. She's going to be spamming in rock slide. You know what uh, disappoints me? Some Mega Evolutions didn't have Pokedex entries in Gen 6 and 7. So it's like we can't learn more. I can't like learn more about Obama Snow's, Mega Obama Snow's power just by... Because you know I heard that it's probably like the worst Mega of Megas. No, Audino's worse. Man, oh, you know, well, yeah, no, they're about, they're in the same team, but I'd say Obama Snow's better. But I learned that apparently Tyranitar is so fierce that it it's like it probably doesn't even hear its own trainer. Its only instinct is to just be destructive. Same with Gyarados. Mm. Yeah, Gyarados is just angry that it evolved. It's just like, ah, oh, I'm in pain. Okay. And then you've got like the disturbing idea that uh, Garchomp's arms melted because of its Mega Evolution energy. Or if Scizor stands still, it'll its body will melt because the Mega Energy has like rise, raised its body temperature so much. Same with Houndoom. If Houndoom doesn't keep moving, it'll probably melt its own body. It's unfortunate. Mega Sceptile's tree missile could nuke an entire like, create just a crater. Is that true? Yeah. Oh. Mega Evolution. I'm beginning to think maybe they did. did Beneferisle. Well, I'm beginning to think maybe they dipped Mega Evolutions because they were like, yeah, no, this is, these are a little he bit too dangerous for kids. Too, kid, too dangerous for kids, too fierce, too scary, kids are gonna cry. It's so, like, you do realize that Pokemon's general demograph is fucking adults. It's gonna keep adults. me up at night. It's gonna keep me up at night. It's too cool. This is a common starter argument. Look, he's gonna follow up with Chikorita sucks. Boom, 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 Oh, oh. Yeah, really I love it. Though. <laughs> it's, it's so bad when you choose it in the playthrough too. Like it's weak to the first two gym leaders, and it it, it doesn't like really beat any of the gym leaders. It's kind of like choosing Charmander in Red and Blue. No, because at least Charmander beats Erica. Yeah, but and, the, it's uh, also weak to the first two gems. Yeah, but yeah, there's not really much of an argument to be made for Charizard either, in my opinion. Like it just makes the game harder. And harder not as in like it's the hard mode like these people like to act. No, it just means Charizard's an inferior Pokemon. It's just harder to play the game if you choose Bul Charizard. Bulbasaur and Squirtle people, beat People the claim game. like Bulbasaur's the easy mode. No, it just means Bulbasaur's a better Pokemon. It just means it's easier because it's, it's, a, better it's a better matchups. functioning Pokemon. When you look at the types of the gym, Bulbasaur just has some better matchups. It beats like two of them at least. It be, uh, Bulbasaur beats the first two and the last. Yeah, that's true. And is resisted by the third and the fourth. Yeah. Uh, and the fifth, if you count poison, but I mean, it's more neutral. But it still, like, can put that stuff to sleep, the sleep powder, and mm -hmm. leech seed. And to be okay, and the thing, the difference is, by the time you reach Brock, you really don't have too many options to use. Yeah, if you choose Charmander, what else yeah. are you gonna use? You got. Oh, hey, there he is. Hey, you're only weak to Sabrina and uh, 
Blaine, and those are late game gym leaders that you'll have a team to beat them by yeah. then. That's and exactly. Blaine is pretty much, in my opinion, the easiest way to beat certain gym leaders, like, is just to catch a Pokemon and kill them. Like, there, you can catch a Growlithe and basically destroy Erica's entire gym with a Growlithe you caught from the wild if you just go in and beat all the trainers with it. Um, Similar to that, you could probably find a pretty high level water type, like a tentacle, and then just kill Blaine. Yeah, that's what I was getting on. It's because, like, by the time you've reached gyms with the oh. other two, with, by the time you've reached the other gyms, you're going to have a team. With Charmander, you're basically stuck beating Brock with a bunch of low level Pokemon that are already weak. And keep in mind, Three of your options in routes one, Viridian Forest, and all that stuff are also weak to rock. Pidgey, Caterpie, and Weedle. Yeah, they're really only. I mean, you can use a uh, Nidoran with Donkey. You could do or that. Maybe. It's not like everything gets one checked. One thing that is decent for Charizard, I guess, is the fact that it's probably the only good fire type in Kanto. Like, Magmars are probably your next best pick, because if you're playing Fire as Leaf Green or Red and Blue, there's no good for special split, so Rapid Ash isn't exactly a great pick. Arcanine is probably your second best pick, probably. Yeah, I was gonna say Arcanine. Never mind. I'd rather use Arcanine than Charizard. We, are, we already did. Arcanine is the best ability ever. Yo, throw back to Rex. Rex was a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had five five. It was fun. Mm -hmm. Um. Like, at least it, well, okay, to be fair, in Emerald, it was almost, uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, it was almost kind of the same deal when picking Torchic. It's like, you basically have to make sure you had a combustion yeah, before Yeah, but that's, that's the thing, at least it evolves. Into something Like, at least the it. first gym in that game has a lot of stuff in between, so you have the level 16 starter by then. Yeah, that's true. In Fire and the Green, it's really hard to have a Charmeleon by Brock. Yeah. Like, unless that's all your training, and you battle every trainer, and even then you're still gonna grind a little. You are. Um, like yeah, that's what I was gonna say. A super effective Pokemon. At least Torchic gets... Can, if you get, get your level 16 Torchic, at least you get double kick right off the bat when you yeah. evolve it. And then you, on top of that, you lose the weakness to rock and because fighting resists rock. For all the people who are trying to tell me, like, oh, but you get Metal Claw level 13 for your Charmander. Yeah, Metal Claw's gonna do shit all. It's it's a physical move on a Jubin and Onyx. Onyx is only good stat is his defense. Good <laughs> luck. Have fun. Vine Whip's a special move. Like, a single Vine Whip from a level like 12 Ball Sword that takes out the entire team. <laughs> you get one shot. That's fun. Same with Sword of Water Gun. Squirrel just like a Squirrel. Also, Squirrel's ball. defense is good, so like, Squirrel's an even better choice than Ball Sword. And by the time you reach Misty, you can find like, a Psychic like, Oddish or something. Oh, yeah, no. Squirtle is the best Pokemon to speak on. Well, that or Needle King, it's between the two. I remember reading a photo where it was like... Reading the, a photo. Reading the text of a photo. And it was saying, like, choosing the female avatar in, um... I think it was either Oraz or it was Ruby or Sapphire. But choosing them is better for speed running because of the... Yeah, because the male says less. The male says less, and apparently the, the, the Pokemon they the lead with are different. I'm just sitting there like, damn. There are people out there who really go the extra mile to learning these speedruns. Oh, yeah. Like, part of me wants to say that's kind of a little oh, yeah. over the top, but at the same time, people like, if people like the speedrun, like, what, who am I to judge? Some, okay. of the, some of the entirety of a Pokemon Red and Blue speedrun is having your Pokemon in the red, because it makes your text go faster for some reason. Um, well, yeah, so I mean, your Pokemon's basically always gotta be almost dead. So, you know, any slip up, you die, kind of, yeah. kind of thing. Very lovely. Alright, Beta. Give me this meal. Um, well, I think of it in depth, that's actually really interesting that people figure these things out and use them. It's like, that's pretty smart. There he is. She is. There she is. Alright, Hildegard. Restrain yourself. Yeah, please don't kill us all. Kill 
you just sit there and protect yourself so you know you don't do anything rash. Okay. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure we still have. Yeah, we got one Hold on, before I was about to say, why don't you switch out one of them for uh, Georgia and stuff for Unless we catch it right here. Like yeah, so. Yeah, like so. That. There you go. I think that's all for this episode, kids. Well then, we will see you all in the next episode where hopefully we won't get our butts kicked by Snaddle and we can beat him. I hope you enjoy our fire red speed run knowledge for the beginning of your game. Farewell.